ChatGPT has such a conversational tone that you could easily get lost in hours of asking it questions and reading back its answers. One can't help but think about what it would be like if this language model had a body. Well, I think it's safe to say that ChatGPT is off to see the wizard, and the wizard is Norway's 1x Technologies, who received $23.5 million from OpenAI to build the official OpenAI robot. The robot is called Neo and will explore how artificial intelligence can take form in a human-like body, opening the way for AGI. And this thing is dropping in summer of 2023. Goldman Sachs says that the humanoid robot will be the next widely adopted device after the smartphone, and we're about to experience just that. On this episode of AI Focus, let's dive into the way OpenAI hopes to further change the world by building the smartest and most useful robot the planet has ever seen. And at the end of the video, I'll reveal what goal OpenAI hopes to achieve with this development. Okay, so who is 1x Technologies and also why did OpenAI choose them? 1x Technologies is a Norway-based engineering and robotics firm that specializes in crafting androids that exhibit human-like motions and conduct. The company was established in 2014 as Halodi Robotics, an electric motor company, and they quickly pivoted into humanoid robots. Their name change to 1X, according to them, reflects the fact that their models move at 1X speed and don't have to slow down to move like other androids. Their mission now is to craft practical, real-world robots that can enhance and supplement human labor worldwide. But what makes this robot so special? The humanoid robot has been around for decades, but creating generally useful ones has proven difficult, and that's where OpenAI's large language model's ability to control drones and chatbots comes in. In a recent paper called ChatGPT for Robotics, Microsoft researchers outlined the process for applying ChatGPT to robotic tasks using various prompting techniques. This allows researchers to translate simple English commands into code. We can get an idea of how these groundbreaking robots might look and function by referring to the previous models the company has created. This robot is called Eve, and it's the robot that put 1X on the map back when the company was known as Halodi Robotics. The robot goes for $150,000 and has an autonomous guarding feature that's a result of their partnership with ADT. Eve was initially a patrol guard for office buildings and it would scan IDs, do facial recognition, move packages and the like. Here, you see the robot performing an everyday task in the kitchen and it already looks like one of the best robots on the market. Imagine this thing with GPT-4 inside of it. GPT-4 will allow the robot to look at its surroundings and decipher pretty much everything around it thanks to its multimodal capabilities and thanks to OpenAI's funding Eve will be commercially available in the US and Norway. However, the robot was designed to operate semi-autonomously using a control center operator that remotely manages multiple interconnected robots. And it's also on a wheeled base, which limits the amount of human tasks it can take over. This is why 1X is now working on a bipedal robot named Neo that will explore how AI can take form in a human-like body. I think it's important to point out why OpenAI's Neo robot would be such a game changer. And what better way than comparing it to the most impressive robots right now? First, there's the terrifying Boston Dynamics robot. This thing is extremely agile. It can do backflips and can perform tasks, but the catch is that in order to do this, the robot has to be trained on that certain task specifically many different times. Next, we have Elon's Optimus bot, which the Neo bot looks pretty similar to. Elon has said that the AI used in cars is the same AI that powers the robots. And this robot can do tasks after being told or shown what to do. This is a step above the heavy training that goes into Boston Dynamics robots. And from the looks of it, it still might be a step below the agility of the Neo robot. Um, so it's, it's not that helpful to have a humanoid robot if you have to program every individual action um, it needs to be able to walk around autonomously and solve tasks. Um, you should be able to instruct it in simple things by sh showing visually what, you're, what, what the robot needs to do or just 
telling it what to do. Uh, it, what you can think of the car really is a robot on wheels, and this is a robot on legs. Um, so, as we solve real-world AI, and I don't think there's any, I don't think there's anyone even close to Tesla on solving real-world AI. Um, that same computer and software uh, goes into Optimus. Then there's Google's robot powered by its Palm large language model. This robot doesn't have to be trained on tasks repeatedly in order to be functional. The robot can complete tasks even if it's interrupted, and it uses its language model to decipher objects around it. It's like what the Neo robot would be, but it's not bipedal and doesn't look half as cool. If successful, OpenAI will change the game with its humanoid robot powered by ChatGPT. It will be fast and agile like Boston Dynamics and way smarter than the Google robot. Its multimodal capabilities will allow it to know what's in the fridge, search up recipes on the internet, and cook something for you. It'll change home life for everyone who has one and ideally make life much easier for the owner. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and you want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Now back to the video. There are four companies partnered with Norway's 1X Technologies, and they are OpenAI, ADT, the security company, Tiger Global, the investment firm, and NVIDIA, the company that creates high-end GPUs. But this isn't the first time OpenAI has invested in robotics. They trained a robotic hand to solve a Rubik's Cube in 2019, but got rid of their robotics team in 2021. Building robots involves having massive computing power and is the reason OpenAI went to 1x with backing from Microsoft. Through this new investment, OpenAI will aim to figure out how to tweak its language model to interact with humanoid robots. And they're right on time, because expectations are for the humanoid robotics market to hit $150 billion by 2035. The investment will go into building the Neo robot and into scale manufacturing of the Eve robot in Norway and North America. Once Eve is out, 1X plans to study the challenges and opportunities the robotics community has yet to address. And my guess is what they learn will be applied to the Neo robot. Here's what the CEO of 1X has to say. We are thrilled to have OpenAI lead this round because we are aligned in our missions, thoughtfully integrating and merging technology into people's daily lives. With the support of our investors, we will continue to make significant strides in the field of augment the global labor market. The demo for this robot is set for summer of 2023 and will be in direct competition with Elon's Optimus bot. Elon's robot is set to cost about $20,000 while Eve was $150,000 the last time we checked. It'll be interesting to see where Neo's price falls in all of this, but these two robots aren't the only ones in development. There's also the figure one in development in the USA. The battle of AI robots is in full swing, and to the victor will go all the spoils of investor capital. OpenAI will soon have the biggest and smartest language model ready to go, with likely the most agile robot on the market. And now as promised, we dive into OpenAI's end goal in all of this. We should note that OpenAI really wants to achieve AGI with its new robot. You may know that AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence, the point where a machine can learn or understand any task a human can. But the question heating up the AI world is does AGI need a physical form in order to occur? Could a robot with physical senses and an ability to interact with the world be the tipping point for artificial general intelligence? Some people say no, but neither side has enough evidence to prove it one way or the other right now. But I think it's evident that we'll find out very soon. Are you planning on getting a Neo robot? What about an Optimus bot? Let me know in the comments below. Click that video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.